folks. Um, that was the Kong Sheng Soulist, uh, probably about the best harmonica that money can buy, in my opinion. Um, but the amount of money that you need to buy one of these is about $55. And a gigging set of harmonicas, which for me is about 10 harps, uh, costs you 550 maybe $600. Uh, and wouldn't it be great if there were other harmonicas that were less expensive where a gigging set might cost you $300? Um, well, there is. And with the difference, you know, you can buy one of these. I, I recommend buying one of these, and I don't recommend banging them into your table. And if you don't want to buy one of those, you can buy even more of these. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about $30 harmonicas-ish. Um, and I've got the Kong Sheng's, the Solist's baby brother, the Bluebird, the Bushman Delta Frost, which are rare. Uh, you can get some wacky keys from Rock and Ron's, but there's not a whole lot of these around. Suzuki Harpmaster, um, the, the Special 20, which technically is probably not a $30 harmonica, but if you look really hard on eBay, you can find these as low, brand new, as about $25 or $26, more likely in the $35 range, but bust out retail is probably $45. Uh, the Harmo Polar, which gets an honorable mention here, um, although it's about $40, and here comes a cat. All right, where was I? Anyway, uh, generally speaking, harmonicas break down into two sort of groups. There's the ones that sound sort of reedy, and the ones that don't. Uh, the Kong Sheng Solist, for example, has a reedier sound to my ear compared to, for example, the Special 20. That reedy sound is shared by, for example, the East Top, uh, which I gig with. again. Kind of hard to tell. A little bit rounder acoustically. Um, but you know, if you're playing it through an amp, really not many people can tell. And it sort of depends on how how you like the harmonica to sound when you're practicing in your car or whatever. Um, the next thing that people are looking for between, you know, after you get done with the reedy, not reedy sound, is how they play, if they're, if they're easy to play. And quite honestly, all of these $30 harmonicas... Um, play about the same. You know, they're about as easy to play, and they're generally in tune out of the box, and they're generally, they generally don't require any additional gapping of reeds or anything like that. They're all really pretty good harmonicas. Um, the Kong Sheng has been getting a lot of press lately. For me, the sound of the Kong Sheng is a little on the bright side, um, but that's just a personal preference. But it's good and loud, it's easy to play, and it's cool looking. It's got this blue color to it. And these things retail for about, what do I have down here, for about $34, $35. So it's a pretty good, pretty good price. The Bushman, I really like the tone when I first got this. But I kept it in my pocket forever and was playing it maybe an hour a day. I've had it for a couple of months, and the nine blowhole has gone flat. <laughs> I can no longer endorse
endorse this. Went flat after a couple of months. I do like the tone. Not happy about the durability. That one goes away. Um, the Harpmaster is a little bit quiet for me. Perfectly good harp. Um, I have a set of these that I use as backups. Special 20, everybody likes the Special 20, the Special 20 is, you know, you've heard this, great harp, if you can get it cheap, if you can get it for 50 bucks, not so cheap. The Polar is somewhere in between, this is a, a brand that is put out specifically by Harmonica Land, um, they look cool, I like the way that they look, they play perfectly fine, my suspicion is that they are, um, that they're manufactured offshore. Uh, and set up by the folks at Harmonica Land. Um, I don't have any problem with these. And this one's in B-flat, all of these others are in A, so it sounds a little bit different. You know, it's a, it's a very playable harmonica. This one's a little bit more expensive, these go at $39. So, um, if you want something that's, that looks unique and that plays fine, you know, Go for one of these. Um, I can't speak to the durability because I don't honestly play this one very often. Uh, all of these are fine. I would just say that of these, uh, the three here, the Harp Master, the Special 20, and the Polar, they sound about the same. Uh, this one, the Kong Sheng, is a little bit brighter. All of these harmonicas don't play very well if you blow really hard. If you blow hard, they tend to choke up, um, which, for example, the East Top does not do. You can blow as hard as you want on this one, and it's pretty forgiving. Uh, my final comment here is that if you are an average harmonica player, I'm an average harmonica player, uh, you can make all of these sound pretty well. Uh, about as good as a hundred dollar harmonica or you know if you're going the other direction and you want to play for example an eight dollar and fifty cent uh blues deluxe fender blues deluxe uh they sound about the same too that said this one, straight out of the box, was a little out of tune. <laughs> yeah. You still make it sound okay. East Hop. Eleven dollars. Still my best bang for the buck harmonica. None of them compare in playability and responsiveness to the soloist, but then, you know, you can get five of these for one of these. You can get one and a half of these for one of these, but you can get two of these for the price of the sidle. So, eh, I don't know. Honestly, if you want to go out and spend 30 bucks for a harmonica, any of these are terrific harps. The Harp Master, the Special 20, the Polar, the Bluebird. Great harps. Um, if you don't want to spend that much, you can still make do with a $12 East Hop. And you can almost make do with an $8 uh, Blues Deluxe. I'm starting to back off on my uh, endorsement of that just on the basis of this last one that I got, which was pretty crappy. Uh, anyway, my take on the $30 harps. Here's the special 20 for closing out. But then you look at all the cat won't run back out here. Happy harping.